Hello all. So in this lecture, we are going to see this pointer in C++. This is a very interesting topic. I have seen many students find it difficult to understand. But in this lecture, I am going to make sure that you will get complete picture of what and why of this pointer. So let's start. Now in Visual Studio, let's write a program to understand this pointer. And we will see what are the challenges and what are the problems we were facing and how this pointer solved that problem. So let's first create class that person. And in this class, let's create member variable. Now after that, let's create constructor of this class. Now after that, let's create a function to print the value of age and name. Now after that, let's create object of this person class, let's say A. And we are going to pass first age and then name, let's say John. Now after that, let's call this print value function to print the details of this object now let's run this program and we are expecting to get 45 and john as the value that we are printing as name and age but look at this we are getting some garbage value why is it so so the problem lies here so the problem is we are expecting that we are assigning the value that we get from age from here to this member variable but actually this is not assigning to this member variable it is assigning to itself this is because the first preference is given to the local variable so age is the local variable that is why this age is assigned to itself this private member variables remain uninitialized that is why we are getting garbage values now to solve this problem so here c++ provide us a method to refer that actually we are talking about this age variable not this local age variable so for that we will use this keyword so so in this way we will refer to the age and name member variable so now it is referring to them now let's run our program to see whether we are correct or not so you can see that we are getting correct values so this is the concept of this pointer this pointer is used to refer to the calling object now let's see a few important points related to this pointer so this is a local object pointer now what is this local this local means we have used this this pointer in the instance member function so we have used it locally inside the member function so that is why it is written local here now the object pointer means it is used to refer to the object means a calling object so this contain the address of the calling object so this pointer will contain the address of this calling object so in our example the calling object was a so it will contain the address of this a now the next point is this is refers to the caller object so whosoever object is calling that function then this this pointer will be referring to that caller object only i hope you are getting my point and the next important point is we can't modify the address of this this pointer so we can't modify this address this address will be automatically stored so i hope this pointer concept is pretty clear to you that it is a local object pointer and it contain the address of the calling object like this and it refers to the caller object it is used to denote the caller object and the address can't be modified of the this pointer excellent 